War. In the Matrix system, things are peaceful with all its inhabitants living an easy life, measuring things accurate to the nearest mm. When the freezing point of water is 0 degrees Celsius and the boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius, it can't get more layman than that. A system where you can tell people that your height is 185 centimeters and you weigh 70 kilograms. A place where the bartender tells you that your shot is 45 milliliters. But as with any proven society, there will always be rebellion. A group that always think that they are better than the system. In a distant system, live a group of rebels. They call themselves the Imperials from the Imperial system. They prefer their freezing point to be 32 degrees Fahrenheit and boiling point to be 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Somewhere we're telling that your height is 6 feet 0.8346 inches makes more sense. Or telling that you weigh 154.324 pounds is normal. A place where they prefer to have their 1.52163 ounce shorts. Alright, alright, enough Star Wars for today. I don't know how to carry on with the plot. So, the metric system. Who uses it? Well, pretty much the whole world, except for 3.5 countries. Can you guess which 3.5? Oh, you're wondering what I mean by the half? Well, there is a country that uses both. Yep, go figure. Alright, make something clear first. I'm not going to talk about the history of the different systems here. Yeah? It's too boring. However, we will look at who's using what. So right, this is the matrix system, yeah? As you can see, it's so simple to convert. 1 cm, 10 mm. 1 meter, 100 cm. 1 kilometer, 1,000 meter. 1 kg, 1,000 milligram. 1 kilogram, 1,000 gram. 1 ton, 1,000 kg. See how easy it is to convert? Pretty straightforward, right? Now let's look at the imperial system. 1 foot, 12 inches. 1 mile, 5,280 feet. 1 ounce, 437.5 grain. 1 pound, 16 ounce. 1 stone, 14 ounce. You see what I'm guessing at? My eyes and brains have not heard this much in a long time. It's so bloody confusing. I I don't know. I really, I really don't know how people how people can. Handle. So I mentioned earlier that the whole world uses the metric system, but 3.5 countries. Yeah. Do you know the three countries? It's Myanmar, Liberia, and the United States of America. Oh, say can you see? Anyway, so you might ponder, why does the mighty country that took it upon itself to bring democracy to the world not use the matrix system? I mean, I'm sure the Americans don't want to feel left out like the last guy chosen for gym class. Right? Some might even go to the extent and say that the Americans are diagnosed with special snowflake syndrome. Well, surprisingly, that's not the case. To convert a country the size of the United States from the imperial to the matrix system is going to take a shitload of time and money. I mean, decades, decades long. Imagine having to change all the road signs, speedometers on vehicles, rulers from inches to centimeters and mm, measuring tapes, thermometers, measurements and all products in the market that displays weight or volume. Dimensions on IKEA, manuals, not IKEA. Basically everything that requires measurement. 
Yeah. So imagine having a genie dead in the entire country of 300 million plus people. So you can't blame them for still using the imperial system. They do use the military system in science, medicine, and military. Alright, alright. Next up, the librarians. No, no, not librarians, but the librarians use the imperial system because they are a former colony of the United States. As you can tell from the flag. Not the most creative or original, is it? So that's self-explanatory, but they are slowly transiting to the metric system. So, you're wondering what the hell is up with the 0.5, right? Well... 0.5 is the United Kingdom. They use both systems. Draft beer, they measure in pint, bottled beer in litre, milk in pint, sugar in pound, meat in kilogram, people in stone, water and soft drinks in litre, distance in miles, height in feet and inches. Fuel is measured in litres, but fuel economy is measured in miles per gallon. Yeah, go figure, as if it's not troublesome enough to convert between the matrix and imperial. Anyway, the last one we're gonna talk about are the Burmese. So the Burmese, right, they don't use the imperial nor the matrix system. Yeah, they have their own units of measurement, unique to their country. It's so confusing, I can't be asked. It's not used anywhere else in the world. Oh, here's a mind-blowing fact about Myanmar. Alright, so they drive on the wrong side of the road, literally. Their vehicles drive on the right hand side of the road, yeah? But that's not the worst part. The driver sits on the right side of the vehicle too. Yeah, imagine that. As a former British colony, cars in Myanmar initially drove on the left, right? Then a whole military junta shit happened and traffic was converted to be driven on the right. Most of the vehicles are second hand right hand drive imports. Thus, they are driving on the wrong side of the road. So they don't even bother converting their vehicles. Imagine the nightmare one have to go through just to overtake a vehicle and make a U-turn. And I've also heard they have someone sitting in the passenger seat, they call him a spare, and he's actually a lookout to so look out ahead to see whether it's safe to overtake a vehicle. Yeah, so every car comes with a spare, just like a sire. Anyway, I would like to visit Myanmar one day, but I'll be really scared to cross the road. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later, mate.